Is this the greatest USB ever made? I really think so. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video and let me know what you think. This is going to be a good one, guys. Alright guys, let's take a look at this Ultima USB version 2. I know it's been a while, guys, but I did just have a another baby. You'll probably hear that in the background. My wife's doing photography of the new baby. We're going to connect the USB. And then we'll reboot. I'm using a VM here just because it's easy for display purposes. And we're going to choose our USB to boot. I did password protect this since there's a lot of uh, cool stuff you're going to see in here, including persistence and fully installed operating systems directly on the drive. So I did want to protect password protect that for you guys. All right. So we are greeted by a custom splash screen here, or a background, I should say, to the grub loader screen. I went ahead with the uh, 2024 theme, which is apparently aliens in the mall. If you haven't been watching the news, weird stuff. But anyways, this is the greatest USB ever made. I, I seriously mean that. I mean, if there's a better one out there, let me know. And I am looking for input too, guys. If you think some of these categories or ISO should be different, I love feedback. Let me know. Let's jump right in, though. Alright guys, so we've got, I believe, 57 bootable images, thousands of tools. We actually have an arcade in this with multiple emulators and as many games as you want to add to it. Um, across, I think, 11 categories here. So I'm just going to start from the top and, and jump right in, guys. First category is Antivirus Rescue. I spent a lot of time customizing this as well, guys. Every single icon on here is something that I imported. Uh, did some modification, removed backgrounds, made them transparent, things like that. So a lot of work went into this. I also hand tested every single one of these ISOs. Uh, configured the persistence on the images that have persistence. So if you can't tell, this is my baby. I'm proud of it. Well, that's my baby over there, actually. But I'll put a picture of my daughter up here, too. She's beautiful. All right, guys. So for antivirus rescue... I've got a Vera Rescue. By the way, these are all the latest images for all of this. So some of these are redundant to the original Ultimate USB from 2023. But I have updated every single image to make sure it's the latest one available in 2024. All right, so for Antivirus Rescue, we've got a Vera. These are all live rescue disks, obviously. Dr. Webb, ESET, Kaspersky, and then a couple of the Windows Defender offline ISOs jump down into desktop OS. This is where we get into a little bit of the persistent action. Let me pull up my other folder here so I can see it for reference. Uh, we've got Debian Live. We've got Elementary OS. This one has persistence. We have Linux Mint. Also has persistence. We have Manjaro MX. This guy has persistence. Tiny11. This is a special one. I uh, fully installed this. The best way I got it to work anyway was fully installed to a virtual machine and then I extracted that VHD and configured the VHD plug-in with Inventoy to allow us to boot directly into Tiny11 and with this USB 3.2 it is fast. I mean it boots right up, it's super responsive. Tried running it live um, and I tried installing it on USB 3.0s and it just wasn't there. I wasn't going to sell you guys something like that. This works great though and remember this isn't a persistent image, this is a fully installed instance of Tiny11. So that one's awesome. I might do another video just showing you that, but just know it's sweet. All right, then we've got Ubuntu. That one also has persistence, and Zorin is the last one in desktop OS category, and it also has persistence. Let's head down to Forensics. We have Kane. This is the new 13.0, and then we have Paladin Edge. Games. We have Batacera right here. So if you guys aren't familiar with Batacera, it's similar to like a Retro Pie or basically a front loader with a whole bunch of emulators on there. So it's got everything from PC games to Pi games to NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis. You can add more emulators as well. I've seen people run PlayStation, N64, things like that. It does come with some games built in, some homebrew stuff, and it's very easy to add games as well. So if you own a copy of any of the games, you're legally allowed to emulate the or use the emulated version with a ROM. Um, that's up to you. you can do what you want. You can load as many ROMs as you want. It's very simple. I may do a video on Batasera as well just to show you the process of uh, getting it up and running and then you know expanding your ROM collection. But yeah, very cool. This is new. We didn't have any games on the last one. This is, again, a full-blown arcade. You can easily pack that thing. I gave you 20 gigs to play with. Um, we can expand that Tecmo if you needed to, but that's a lot when you're talking about retro games. You could have 
tens of thousands of ROMs on there with no problem as far as capacity. All right, next category is hypervisors. I did get the latest version of both Open Media Vault and Proxmox. If you guys haven't seen Proxmox, it's really cool. Uh, my buddy Chris over at Cheryl Technology Channel, he has some really good videos. If you guys haven't seen them, check them out. That's uh, Cheryl Technology. He has some great stuff on Proxmox. Next one is multi tools. This is really good stuff right here. So we have the AOI, which are the all in one system rescue. We have DLC boot. If you guys haven't seen this one, it's really cool. Let me see if I can get in here without freezing the video. Yeah, we better not boot to it. But anyways, because it'll it'll make me reboot if I do that. But um, DLC boot's cool. It has multiple images inside of it. So if you guys haven't seen that, check it out. And then we have Herons. This is the latest version of Herons boot CD. We have Nopix. This is actually kind of nostalgic. I remember first getting into IT and uh, my instructor, Walt, at UEI, showed me Nopix. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You can boot into this Linux operating system and interact with the Windows hard drive. And kind of where it all started. But yeah, Nopix is really cool. Medicat. If you guys haven't seen Medicat, check it out. I've got a good video on Medicat. Medicat's been on the last one. This alone is like a Swiss Army knife. Now it's like a small Swiss Army knife inside of this giant Swiss Army knife. But very good stuff with Medicat. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, next one, guys, is Sergey Strelek. I know some of you guys were asking me for this on the last uh, Ultimate USB that I created. So I took your advice and I went ahead and added that in. And it is good stuff. I've used it. So, you know, shout outs to you guys that, that gave me that recommendation because, again, I, I always look for feedback and input and I do try to. Uh, incorporate that into everything that I do here on this channel. And then we have a couple more here. System Rescue uh, 10 2. And then we have Tux PE. This is a new one. This is cool stuff too. It's a very good WinPE environment with a whole bunch of stuff built in. Uh, again, a lot of these in the multi tool category, guys, we could do full videos on them. So if you guys are interested in any of these, let me know. I'd be glad to cover it a little more in depth. Um, but obviously, there's so much stuff jam packed into this new USB. I, I can't go into all of them. This would be a eight hour video right but yeah guys I wanted to show you the collection here so the last one on the list is a win just a standard vanilla win PE x64 in case you're looking for that and that was extracted from uh, from a win 11 edition so so that's all for the multi tools let me know if you think I missed anything in the multi tool category or the PE category um, let me know which one's your favorite as well next category is networking we've got PF sense and open sense if you guys haven't seen those, they're like open source firewalls. They're really cool stuff. Uh, I'd say if you're getting into networking, it's something to learn. You know, if you're going down the Cisco route or whatever, check out PFSense. It's really cool. All right, pen, pen testing and offensive security, one of my personal favorite categories. Uh, we have Athena. This is All these are great, by the way. I've used them all. We have Black Arc. Black Arc actually comes with persistence built in on this. Uh, Drac OS, pretty cool one. Fedora Security Live. Kali Linux. Yes, I am a Kali Linux fanboy. It's my favorite pen testing OS. I don't care what anyone says. And this one also comes baked in with uh, persistence. If you guys are building persistent um, ISOs in a Ventoy USB, this one, for some reason, I always have issues with. I have to go in there and manually create it through a shell script in Linux. Um, I have a video covering that. If you haven't seen my persistent or my ultimate persistent video, check that out. I'll show you how to do it mainly for Kali. Everything else has worked so far with the baked in uh, .dat files for persistence that's provided by the Ventoy website. That was a mouthful. Next one on the list is the NST or the Network Security Toolkit and then we have Parrot. Parrot is awesome. I mean I'm a Kali fanboy but if you want a well-rounded offensive security pen testing operating system I would say Parrot's probably actually better than Kali because it, it's more of like an operating system to where Kali is just hardcore pen testing offsec. Then we have Pen2. This one's new. We didn't have this one the last go around, so very cool OS as well with Pen2. All right, guys. Next category is privacy and security. Uh, these some of these are very locked down, uh, very secure operating systems. They can be a pain in the ass to use, though. I think Network Chuck did one recently, a video on I think it was Cubes. He said the most secure operating system or something like that, and he hates it. Yeah, it's. There's a reason for that. It's very secure, though. So if you're paranoid and you don't want, you know, your stuff getting out there or whatever, dig into some of these. These are very secure and very um, keep you anonymous out there. So the first one's Kadashi. Next one's Pure OS. Again, all the latest versions, guys. Cubes R4. We've got Robo Linux. That's a Cinnamon Edition. We have Silks, Scepter, Tails. This is probably my favorite one for uh, 
not like I do it a lot, but you know, going out on the dark web and staying totally anonymous. If you haven't seen my video on Tails, check it out. I show you how to run this um, from a stick, and I show you some of the best practices to keep yourself safe out there on the dark web. All right, guys. After privacy and security, I told you this thing is jam-packed, guys. I'm trying to fly through these the best I can. Server OS is CentOS 7. We've got the latest Fedora server, OpenSys Leap, and we have Ubuntu 22.04 live server. Last but not least on the list of categories is just some random tools. So you've got Boot Repair Disk, Clonezilla, D-Band. This is the, um, what is it, Derek's or something like that. Boot Nuke. Anyway, it's basically just to completely smash a hard drive if you're trying to wipe out any evidence. This does like a DOD style wipe. It'll zero out your hard drive, so nothing is recoverable. Um, G Parted Live, and then we have Memtest86 for both BIOS and UFI. So like I said, guys, this is, in my opinion, the greatest USB that's ever been constructed. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. Let, let's have a debate. I haven't seen a better one out there. That's why I decided to create it. So this will be up on my store very soon, guys. Again, this is running on a 256 gigabyte USB 3.2. So I've got up to, I've, I've done a test with this um, using, what's the name of the utility? One sec, guys. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you the speeds. It was over a thousand meg ride or uh, read speed. So this is the fastest USB that I, I've worked with. I was using the uh, Crystal Disk Mark. That utility is one of the better, well-known ones out there for testing USB speeds or any drive speeds, really. And like I said, this outperformed everything. I actually had a um, M2 SSD that I had in a 3.2 enclosure, and the native 3.2 drive that I have. That has both USB A and C. It actually outperformed that. They were really close, but it outperformed the M2. So that should tell you how fast this is. All right, guys. I hope you are ready for this. Um, like I said, it's going to go live probably within a couple days. Here, I'll have it up on the store. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers as well, so we'll do some kind of cool giveaway when we hit that. But I did want to get this out to you guys. Um, I think you guys are going to love it. Like I said, if you stuck around to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button and drop a comment. Let me know. Is this the greatest USB ever made? If not, tell me why not. If you have any feedback of, you know, did I miss something? Should I have included other images? Do let me know. One other thing to note here, guys, like I said, this is a incredibly fast USB and you have all this great stuff, all these utilities and, you know, full-blown arcade and everything like that built in. But I did leave you a little bit of space as well. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ventoy. If not, you can stick this in to an operating system that's already booted uh, and you can just browse the directory. So what I did was I left you about I think 15 gigabytes of space so you can use this also just as a super fast uh, piece of storage or you know a USB for storage. But obviously the uh, beauty of this USB and any event to a USB is to boot from it. So you would put in a laptop, hit your boot key and then you'd pre be presented with this new IT Unicorn 2024 Ultimate USB version 2 background and menu. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, let me know what you think and let me know if you want me to do a video on any of these, um, whether it be Tiny11 or Batasar or anything in between there. Alright guys, appreciate you sticking around to the end. Hope you have a great day. Take care.